I just I can't take this, Mama. I don't want to be Gertrude anymore. I just want to go to Ethan. I want to tell him I'm alive. I want to live openly with my children as their mother. I know, but you know that that's impossible, especially when Ethan's still on the loose. It's too dangerous. Just think of all the risks you've taken already. Gwen saw you, Teresa. I drugged her, Mama. She thinks that I'm a figment of her imagination. Don't be too sure of that. You have to stop them now. Sweetheart, what's the matter, mijo? Even after Uncle Ethan promised me that he wouldn't, they're going to send me away to boarding school. And they're going to make me go tonight. Uh, I don't understand. It was all decided that I wasn't going. I know it was, sweetheart. I don't want to go to boarding school. I don't want to go away. I don't understand this. I mean, how could Ethan do this? I mean, how could he agree to this? This is not Ethan, Mia. This is Gwen's doing. She wants to send little Ethan away so Ethan won't think about you. Yeah, but Mama, Ethan said that he wanted little Ethan to stay here at home. Can't you stop this, Mom? Please? You have to keep Gwen from sending me away. Don't you worry, sweetheart. You are not going anywhere. What can you do about it? They think you're only the nanny. Uh, sweetheart, how do you know this is happening? Two of the staff came into my room and packed me up. There's a car outside waiting to take me away right now. At this time of night? I wouldn't stop, Gwen. Can't you tell the truth? Take off the disguise, Mom. Honey, I can't. I can't. Our whole family is in danger. From the Juanita person? Yes. I can't tell anything I'm alive. I can't tell anyone I'm alive. If I do, we will all be killed. Gertrude, what are you talking about? Gertrude, what are you saying? Something about someone being killed. <gasps> killed? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. What was I saying? Um, well, well, we were just uh, uh, talking about how uh, the teachers at boarding school would be very skilled. <laughs> yeah. But well, that's actually hardly the point, is it, Gertrude? No. Um, actually, uh, well, the three of us, we were just talking about how we don't think that little Ethan's mother would want to send little Ethan to boarding school. Gertrude, this decision is none of your concern. Ethan, tell me the truth, please. You promised me you can't change your mind now and send little Ethan to boarding school. Ethan. Look, Gwen and I talked about this at length. And she is my wife. And we are a team. We are a team. And we're going to make this decision together. <laughs> but it's wrong. Pilar, do you really want to deny him this wonderful opportunity? Look, it, it really is. It's an awfully good school. You know, that, along with taking into account what the child psychologist said, made us decide that sending Lily to boarding school was the best thing to do. And he's going to go tonight. No. <sighs> You're stabbing me in the heart, Ethan. Pilar, don't be so dramatic. Mr. Winthrop, are you re really going to do this? And after everything that you said about Teresa, I mean, are you really going to send this little boy away? Gertrude, you're the nanny. The, uh, this is not your place. You need to go. But I... Uh, Please, Gertrude. You have no say in this matter. Just go. Don't. Ethan, you listen to me, please. Pilar, you have talked this subject into the ground. Ethan and I have decided that boarding school is the best decision for little Ethan. I'm his grandmother. Have I no say? To be honest, no. Ethan. Look at this little face. Please, she's devastated. Can you really hurt him like this? Please don't send me away. Listen, don't worry. I know you're going to love it. Listen to him, Ethan. Please don't do this. You're destroying this little boy. Is that what you want? Of course not. Ethan. I know that you love him. I mean, you adopted him. 
But do you think that cutting him off from those that know him and love him is the right thing to do? Look, I, I know you're concerned, Pilar, really, but this is a decision that Gwen and I came to together. As a team. Right. Pilar, she is my wife. And even I had mixed feelings about boarding school. I did, but I, I grew to love it. And I think you're letting your emotions get the best of you. And I have to trust Gwen's judgment on this. Excuse us one moment, please. <clears throat> you bitch. You don't give a damn about little Ethan. You're just trying to get Teresa out of Ethan's heart. Well, it won't work. Well, I'm Ethan's partner now, and unless your dead daughter walks through that door, little Ethan <clears throat> is going to boarding school. If only she could. Well, Pilar, see, I'm not stupid. I know what I saw upstairs. I saw Teresa alive and well in Ethan's arms. So, I also know that she would never let her little boy be sent away. Oh, that's what this is about. You're trying to smoke Teresa out? She's alive, isn't she? Of course not. Well... We'll see, because if she is, she'd never let her little boy be sent away from Harmony. Mr. Winthrop? Oh. Oh, there's something that I have to tell you. Gertrude, I already asked you to leave. This has nothing to do with you. Oh, oh, but it does. See, after talking with your husband about Teresa, I understand her. Mr. Winthrop? There's something that I need to tell you about Teresa and me. No, Teresa. You can't tell Ethan you're alive. Juanita will kill us all. You probably will be shocked at what I have to say. Don't tell the truth. Please, Teresa, don't tell the truth. You see, uh, I spent some time in the attic going through Teresa's things. Wait, what? What? Don't tell me you were trying to steal something. Oh, no, ma'am. I wasn't trying to steal anything. It's just after learning so much about Teresa, I began to identify with her. Um, like, uh, the fact that she was poor. I'm poor. Uh, she became a princess. I had my makeover. I was kind of embarrassing, but I, I do hope that I can become a princess, too, one day. Good luck finding a blind prince. A anyway, um, it just it made me feel closer to Teresa to go through her things. And when I did, well, I found this letter. I mean, I just, I read a little bit of it. And, well, it's, it's, it's about uh, Jane and little Ethan. And, well, I think that you and Gwen should read this letter before you decide to send little Ethan to boarding school. What is that supposed to be? Look at the date. My God, uh, this was the day before she left for Mexico. When she knew she was walking right into danger and might never come back. Then give me a break. These are instructions about little Ethan and Jane. And Gwen, it literally says that she does not want her children to be sent away to school like the cranes. And that she wants her children to stay in harmony and be close to her family who loves them. Yes! I don't believe this. So, Gertrude, why don't you write something and then we can just compare. Actually, there's... there's no need for that. I have a letter that, that Issa wrote to comfort me when Antonio died, and I always have it with me. Yeah, Ethan, please, you can compare the handwriting. It's very personal. convinced my daughter's dead? Yeah. We'll have no more of your nonsense. She's really dead. But, I mean, 
Laura, I saw her. What was I saying? Oh, yes. You're seeing Teresa because of your guilty conscience. And this is just... This is unbelievable. I mean, Teresa's dead, and... And I still lose every battle. When am I ever going to be free of her? Never. I'll be right here watching you every step of the way.